All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to use the TI-30X2, or it could be the TI-30X2S. Um, you could have either one of those, and it works out the same way um, as in regards to your button combinations and things like that. <clears throat> and the first thing I want to show you is how to go from a decimal to a fraction. And for example, let's do an easy one that maybe we all know. 0.5 is a decimal. That's the same thing as one half. And to show you how to do that, to go from a decimal to a fraction, or I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go from a fraction to a decimal. For example, if we had a fraction of three fourths, if you remember that three fourths of a dollar is 75 cents, so we should get 0.75. So let's see how we can go from 0.5 to 1 half. So let's type in our decimal, 0.5, and then the only two buttons you need to know to go from a decimal to a fraction or from a fraction to a decimal is the second and then this PRB button right here. Because if you look above the PRB button, you have an F and a D. Basically what this means is we can go from a fraction to a decimal or we can go from a decimal back to a fraction. So to access that FD, you want to press the second. So I'm going to press second and notice the second did light up right there. And then press the PRB and it's going to bring that up on your screen. Press enter and it's going to give us one half. And notice that's exactly what we have right here. 0.5 equals one half. And you can do other decimals like that. For example, if we had 0 0.82, 0 0.82, let's see what that gives us. 0.82, press your second and the PRB button. I pressed, I'll do it again, 0.82, then press that second and then the PRB, so that FD pops up, and we get an answer of 41 over 50. So that's how we go from a decimal to a fraction. Now let's go from a fraction to a decimal. Now there's two ways you can do this. Two ways. One way is to simply uh, just type in 3 divided by 4. So we can use a division key if we type in, let me zoom out a little bit. If we type in 3 divided by 4, and that's what that looks like right there. 3 divided by 4, press enter, we get 0.75. But there is another way we can do this as well, and just take notice, um, that's what we do have right here, 3 fourths equals 0.75. But another way to do this, instead of using the division button, we can use this ABC button right here. It says A with a B slash C. So what we can do here is we can type in 3 press the ABC button, then press 4. This means 3 fourths. Now, the only thing here is this, though. If you press Enter, it's going to give you the fraction, which is 3 fourths. So what we can do with this fraction, we can do just like what we did with the decimal to fraction. We can use that same button combination to go from a fraction back to a decimal. So notice if I press the second and the PRB button again, notice it did convert three-fourths to 0.75. So that does work there. Let's try another fraction. Let's do it both ways. Um, how about 1 over 20? Think about 1 over 20. If you had one nickel, notice that 20 nickels make a dollar. So if you had one nickel, you'd have 5 cents. So we should get 0.05. Well, let's try it two different ways. Let's just type in 1 divided by 20 first. 1 divided by 20, we get 0.05. But we could also use the ABC button. So if we press 1 ABC and then press 20, it's going to show us 1 20th. And with the 1 20th showing, if you press 2nd and the PRB button, it'll fly up FD and we still get 0.05. So that's two ways that you can convert a fraction to a decimal. Other things that we need to know how to do. Um, suppose you had a fraction 2 and 
two thirds. This is called and or it's not called an, it's called a mixed number. Now the way to convert this to what's called the improper fraction, improper fraction meaning the uh, top number is bigger than the bottom number. We take three times two, we get six. Six plus that two gives us eight. So our improper fractions should be eight thirds. These two should be the same thing. The way to type in a mixed number into the calculator is to use that ABC button twice. So two and two thirds will get typed in like this. We press two, ABC two, ABC three. Two and two thirds. That's how we type that in. If you press enter right now, it's going to give you that mixed number. Two units and two thirds. So two and two thirds is the way we show that. And now, to convert that to a improper fraction, instead of us using the second PRB, we want to press the second ABC button. And let me show you that. If you look right above the ABC button, you'll see ABC with some arrows and then a DE on the calculator. If we press second and then press this button, it'll let us convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction or from an improper fraction back to a mixed number. So let's press those two buttons now. We're going to press second, ABC. And by the way, we did have that two and two thirds here showing up on the screen. And I'm going to show you that again. But if we do that, notice we get eight thirds. And that's exactly what we have right here as our improper fraction. With the eight thirds showing, press that same button combination again. Uh, press the same combination again. Second, ABC. And notice we go back to two and two thirds. What this button combination does, second, ABC, it'll go back and forth between the mixed number and the improper fraction. So here's our mixed number, press second ABC, there's our improper fraction. And we can go back and forth between those. And maybe I should have mentioned that back here for the decimal form as well, but let's take the, uh, let's take the, the 0.75, if we had 0.75, and we want to convert that to a fraction, we will press second PRB, it'll give us three-fourths. If we have the three-fourths showing, we can press second PRB, and it'll take us back to the fraction form. And we can go back and forth between those. There's your fraction, there's your decimal. And all I'm doing is just second PRB and press and enter each time. So there's a couple of things we did. We did decimal to fraction, fraction to decimal, uh, mixed number to improper fraction. And let me see, what's something else? I guess I can show you the percent key up here. Um, we won't use that. Uh, well, actually, some of us will be using it pretty soon. But the percent key, 25% um, is equal to 0.25. And the, the method to convert from a percent to a decimal is to move the decimal two places to the left and drop the percent symbol. So technically, our decimal is understood to be right there if we don't have one. We move it two places to the left, creating 0.25, and then we drop the percent symbol. So that's why... 25% is equal to 0.25. And to access the percent symbol, it is the left parentheses just above the 8 key. Notice there's the per, uh, percent key. And to use that, we have to press that second button to use it. So let's do that. Let's type in 25. And then press second and press that left parentheses to make that uh, percent symbol come up. And notice it does give us 0.25. Now there is no way to convert from a decimal back to a percent on the calculator, so you want to make sure to convert from a decimal back to a percent, we move our decimal two places to the right and just tack on the percent symbol. And let's just look at one more. Suppose we had 99.8%. Uh, That's a pretty good test grade if you had a 99.8%. The decimal notation would be 0.998 because if we move this decimal here two places to the left, and drop the percent symbol, we're left with 0.998. Make sure to go back from a decimal to a percent. We move two places to the right, which would be 99.8, and then we tack the percent symbol back on. But uh, I think 
just some other things later on in the course that we may need. Um, you definitely want to remember the fraction to a decimal or decimal to a fraction using the second PRB. And you definitely want to remember a mixed number to an improper fraction or an improper fraction back to a mixed number using second ABC. Um, the pi button, there's your pi button. That's the 3.14 we'll use some. Your exponent key is going to be this, and the squared button will be this. But um, I actually probably end up making another video, but at least want to show you the pi exponent and stuff like that. But for right now, as long as you feel pretty good with these ideas, going from a decimal to a fraction, fraction to a decimal, and then a percent decimal, as well as the mixed number and improper fraction. But that's it. Hope it helped.